So you did not arrive here to walk lockstep in status quo. You did not take, you did not peer over into time and say, I think I'm going to go to planet Earth and I'm just going to do what everybody else is doing. No, you did not. You arrived on planet Earth to shatter the status quo, to break free from prevailing paradigms, to not just study history, but to make history. You have come to break free in such a way that who you are as an infinite, divine uh, emanation of pure intelligence, unconditional love, perfect peace, life itself can begin to reveal itself in ways that it never has before because you have never existed before you. As this uh, divine emanation, because you are here, are saying yes uh, to the activation of your potential and, and, and to set it free. Now, we all have the same purpose. In my language, you all have the same purpose. And that purpose is to reflect and to reveal the cosmos in a way that has never happened before. You can say the divine presence. You can say great God of the universe. You can say divine life. Whatever it is... We have the purpose to reveal this presence, this uh, cosmic happening, to localize the cosmic happening in a way that has never, ever happened before. We all have different missions of how we do that, uh, uh, but uh, our purpose is to reveal that, and that is how you break free from the status quo, walking lockstep. In other words, you have arrived here today uh, to take your small box vaccine small box people living in small boxes you're here to take a small box vaccine so that you're setting yourself free you can scream about it it's okay i like noise i like i like not noise i like a cacophony of a screaming in, anyway you come to take a small box vaccine now as you are walking in the direction of your sacred yes as you're walking in the direction of, of, of yielding to your potential, having outrageous dreams to have contagious memes, uh, dreams that are beyond the present paradigm, dreams that are beyond what you think you can accomplish on your own, dreams that are beyond what you've ever thought before, you end up having a, contag having a contagious meme. A meme is not just what you put on your Facebook or on your Instagram. A meme is something, an idea that's delivered to each other by no means of genetic connection. We, we become very contagious. And then the process of, of doing that, we bump into being influential. Now there's different kinds of ways in which individuals influence. One is covert. People try to influence you covertly. You try to have a tendency to resist that. People want you to, to, to believe what they believe. They want you to think what you, the way they think. They want you to buy what they want you to buy. That's covert influencing. I mean, that's overt influencing. Then there, I, I, I just might as well say because my talk is the source of influence, in case you didn't know that. Then, and then... There is covert influence. And this is, for instance, a, a mother may say to a child, oh, I, I, I like the way Johnny's acting, you know, and it's covertly trying to get the child to act like Johnny. So there's covert influencing. And then there's subliminal influencing. Subliminal influence is you've all seen subliminal influence. You've seen advertisements. You've seen beautiful women standing next to cars smoking cigarettes, and you either want the car or the cigarette in order to get the women. It's, it's subliminal <laughs> So, so there's covert and uh, uh, cov uh, overt, covert, and subliminal, but then there is being influential. Being influential means that you have surrendered your life. You, you are in service to something that's bigger than your little self. And you're being in, and you're being in, you are being influenced by that which is bigger than your in your your little self, and then you begin to radiate that particular quality. You're not covertly doing it. You're not overtly doing it. You're not subliminally doing it. You have become a tuning fork, radiating with that frequency and that vibration, and you develop a kind of electromagnetism in which the very thing that you're in service to 
radiates through you so profoundly that it activates that energy in others without you saying a word, without you trying to convince somebody, without you trying to make somebody do something. You're, the vibration that you are carrying influences, so you have become influential rather than trying to influence. The source of being influential is service to something higher than yourself, something larger than your little self. So it begins to carry you. Now, all of us, somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> now, 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 you have to understand, of course, that you cannot influence the infinite, whatever name you choose to call it. You can't influence God. If you could, we'd all be in trouble. You see, because, because the presence, by every name you want to call it, it's the same yesterday, today, and forever, never compromises itself, never contradicts its nat nature, never works against itself. It's always the same. It's always carrying the vibration of love and beauty and intelligence and order, uh, luminosity, brilliance. You can't influence it, but it can influence you as you are in service to one of its attributes, and then you glow. You become so luminous uh, with, this, uh, with this presence, you cannot help but influence individuals by the radiant vibration that's emanating from you. And then, and, the, and, and there's, a, there's a wonderful, magnificent truth about that. You're no longer a neutral individual. These attributes of love and beauty, intelligence, abundance, uh, harmonizing prosperity, all of these qualities are non-neutral. They are constantly active, which means as you begin to uh, surrender yourself to something higher, become in service to something higher, and you become influenced uh, by that, you will drive people away or you will draw people to you, but there's no neutrality there. You, you, you will draw individuals who are uh, uh, open and receptive and want to be about that dynamic energy, and you will drive people away uh, that don't want to play at that particular level. You won't have to do anything but be yourself. You'll, you'll, you'll drive or you'll draw. Now, how do, how do we move about in this, in this realm? There's effluence, affluence, and influence. Effluence is generosity. It's giving. There can be no permanent affluence unless there's effluence in your consciousness. So first, you're in service to something higher. And you begin to ask yourself, because you've been given everything, you're a composite spiritual idea that carries the infinite in ways beyond your wildest imagining, you have to live in the inquiry of what can I give, what can I share, how can I shine, how can I radiate. You, you have to give up the thought of what can I get from the world. The world has nothing for you at all. There is nothing the world has for you other than an opportunity for you to give, for you to share, for you to serve, for for you to radiate, for you to activate your potential. That's all the world has for you. And, and just to be clear, there's a difference between the world and the planet. The world and the planet are not the same thing. The planet is Mother Earth, Gaia, rainforests, rivers, three-fourths water, trees. It's, it's a magnificent, luminous being that's becoming more and more conscious of itself. And then there is the world. The world is held together by opinions, points of view, positionalities, beliefs, which is why individuals can be on the same spot on the planet but be in different worlds. The world and the planet is not the same thing. The world has nothing for you, you see? You are here to ask, how can I shine? How can I give? How can I share? How can I radiate? And as then as you become influenced by what you're surrendering to, you change the narrative in the world. You shift the narrative. Instead of lack, limitation, fear, doubt, worry, separation, not enoughness, your narrative becomes, I have everything that I need within me. I am surrendered to something larger than my little self. I am in service to it. That flows through me. I become a tuning fork. And then because of my radiance, everything that I need uh, shows up in ways by which I do not have to manipulate 
to get them, I'm already that vibration. I'm already that frequency. So I don't have to manipulate someone. All I have to do is be me, articulate to my vision over and over and over again to myself, be able to fluently say what I have surrendered my life to, the, the higher purpose of my existence, and then my world begins to change. I live in a different world. I live in a world of abundance and joy. So first, there must be effluence. How can I give? I must uh, put a groove in my mind so that the inquiry is always there. How can I give today? How can I shine today? How can I radiate today? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you getting this? Somebody scream about it. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. After effluence, then there is affluence. Affluence is all of your needs met. When there is effluence with an E, then there's affluence with an A, which means you're tapping into the abundance that is everywhere, that never depletes itself, never runs out. As the Bhagavad Gita reminds us, you take abundance from abundance, and abundance still remains. You cannot deplete any of it, but you're living in that octave, that frequency, that vibration, because you are living in effluence first. Affluence shows up. And now you're the vibration of influence. Again, you're not making it happen. You're making it welcome.